Okay, so the MSI Alpha 15 is a pretty power-packed laptop with a lot of features, but there are two major highlights that got us really interested. The display and obviously the AMD CPU and GPU. So I'm going to start with this nice, beautiful display. The MSI Alpha 15 comes with a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS panel with a 144Hz refresh rate. Yup, a 144Hz refresh rate panel. Plus the laptop comes with AMD's FreeSync support, which dynamically adjusts the refresh rate to make sure games look much smoother and there's no screen tearing. Well, I and Anmol from our team have been playing games on the MSI Alpha 15 and well, the display has been brilliant. The experience has been smooth and it helps that the display looks really good. The colors are crisp too, there's adequate brightness, the viewing angles are great. Yeah, it's an all around great display. Anyway, not just games, I watched some Netflix too on the laptop and it looks amazing. So yeah, I think the 144Hz display lives up to its expectations. I really like it. Plus, I like the fact that the top and the side bezels are tiny, while the bottom bezel is a little thick to accommodate the MSI logo, which is okay. Overall, I like the display here. Okay, so the Alpha 15 is powered by the Ryzen 7 CPU. And on the GPU front, there's a 7 nanometer Radeon RX 5500M. And when it comes to storage, there's a 512GB Kingston NVMe SSD along with an empty 2.5 inch drive bay where you can either use a regular HDD or SATA SSD. There's also 16 gigs of RAM. See, we ran multiple benchmarks on the Alpha 15 because this is the first time we are testing a Ryzen 7 laptop. And well, as you can see from the benchmark scores, the AMD Ryzen 7 Plus Radeon RX 5500 M combo does really well. Now we don't have a Core i5 NVIDIA 1650 laptop to compare things, but these scores are really good. Now coming to the games, we played a number of games on the Alpha 15 ranging from COD Warzone, PUBG, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice and Apex Legends and it's clear that the laptop can handle almost any game you throw at it. But hey, we wanted to push the Radeon RX 5500M to its limits because yeah, like I said, it was our first time testing it. So we played all the games on 1080p high graphics settings and well, the average FPS was pretty good. In PUBG, we got an average FPS of around 71 FPS, which I think is pretty good. In Apex Legends, the FPS was around 75-80, which again is pretty good. And when it comes to COD Warzone, we got an FPS of around 78-80, which is nice. Now, the FPS did dip down while playing Sekiro. It was around 45-50, but I'd say it's pretty decent. So, yeah, the Alpha 15 can handle AAA titles with a lot of ease. And you can always get even better frame rates by lowering the graphics a bit. Anyway, I also like the thermal performance of the Alpha 15. The dual cooling fans and a lot of heat pipes thanks to the whole Cooler Booster 5 system keep temperatures under control. Now, the fans are usually pretty silent, but they do get a bit loud when you switch to extreme performance mode. We're talking about a 51 watt hour battery pack with a 180 watt adapter. Yeah, that's not a big battery. And in my usage, the laptop only lasted for two to three hours at max. Well, on the design from the MSI Alpha 15 looks functional. I mean, it lacks the whole gamer rescue black red vibe MSI is known for. Instead, it offers a matte black aluminum lid with this green Phoenix logo, which I think looks fine. There's no RGB here if you're expecting that. Now, the rest of the laptop has a regular plastic chassis with a silver paint job around the keyboard, and I think it looks pretty functional. On the bottom, you get the two cooling fans and the speakers. And when it comes to the ports, there's HDMI, mini display port, Ethernet, USB-C and USB-A ports and the mic and the headphone jack on the left side. And on the right, you get two USB-A ports, an SD card slot and the AC adapter. Now, one thing I like here are the RGB lit USB ports. They look cool and they're easy to find and plug in peripherals at night. Now, moving on to this keyboard, it's a full size steel series keyboard, which isn't cramped and it has per key RGB lighting spot, which is great if you like that sort of customization. And as you can see, there is a dedicated Steel Series button on the top to cycle through the different lighting modes. And you can always install Steel Series Engine 3 to get more control. So the typing experience is great once I got used to it. Key travel is decent and well, no complaints on the keyboard front. Then there's this trackpad, which is a tad bit on the smaller side, which is okay because you're anyway going to use a mouse to play games. The touchpad here supports windows, pressures and drivers and well, the buttons are creaky but loud. Now, if you're wondering what's the difference between the two Alpha 15 variants, well, there's not a lot. The MSI Alpha 15, the 70K variant, brings the same design, a 120Hz IPS display, which is still pretty great. It has the same specs, yes, Ryzen 7 plus Radeon RX 5500M GPU, with the same Cooler Booster 5 cooling system, which means the performance should be great. There's also a 256GB SSD plus 1TB HDD combo, the same config keyboard, but no per-key RGB customization. The same battery, the same speakers, so yes, if you ask me, at 70k, 
the MSI Alpha 15 A3 DD 044IN with all of these great specs and features seems pretty great. Yes, the battery performance and speakers are kind of average, but at 70K, the pros of the MSI Alpha 15 far outweigh its cons. So yeah, I think it's just a great deal.